Hello and welcome to Culture Shock. I'm Evan I'm and this Brent. is Brent. What are we talking about today, Brent? Well, we got this shop up here. Oh, see. I see these bicycles parked outside and these yeah. people seated looking like they're having something, something in a bowl there in that's bowl. steaming. Exactly. This is a ramen shop. Oh, ramen shop. Ramen shop. A whole shop to nothing but ramen. Right. Now over here, <laughs> we're used to top ramen. Uh, yeah, yeah a, a cup, cup of noodles. noodles. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it's very different over in Japan, yeah. as most things are. <laughs> Not dehydrated honest. little... Uh... Not just dehydrated little noodles, <laughs> no. Um, so this is gourmet food, is ramen over in, in Japan. Um, and uh, ramen in Japan is actually uh, refers to a kind, basically a kind of soup. Mm. Um, a, a, a ramen soup. Oh, which, that oh, looks tasty. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> That's making gosh. me hungry. <laughs> no kidding. Um, so ramen in Japan oh. refers to this soup that, that is noodles plus broth, plus toppings. Mm. Uh, the toppings uh, are, can be a whole variety of things. Now, where it started from, nobody's quite sure. It probably started in China. They have plenty of noodle-style dishes. Uh, but what we do know is that the first shop that specialized in ramen opened in Yokohama in 1910. So it's been around for quite a while. 1910? 1910. 1910. Yeah, so it definitely has over 100 years of history over in Japan. And it really got um, got going uh, after World War II when mm. flour became exp uh, available in large Ooh. quantities. Um, and Japanese soldiers who had a lot of Chinese food in China and other places, because there were a lot of Japanese soldiers in China in World <laughs> War II, um, they came back to Japan with a taste for Chinese food. And the flour, noodles, yep. makes sense? Exactly. So ramen is made from uh, a, a kind of wheat noodle. Let's see if we get a better You know, shot that, of that, 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 that. Uh, swirly looking thing yeah. really exists. I've seen that in anime, that, sure that radish pickle looking thing. Mm -hmm. yep. Wow. Yeah, all, all these things actually <laughs> came from somewhere. Imagine that. Um, but um, for a long time, this was a very expensive dish. Mm. Uh, these wheat noodles are very finicky. It's, mm. it's hard to, you can make noodles, we're making these kinds of noodles with just that right oh, consistency. Like fresh pasta, it's not uh, the same, or fresh noodles. Mm -hmm. Ah, that makes sense. Right, so it was um, it was a very expensive night out for a long time, until 1958, when Momofuku Ando came along, and <sighs> praise be to him forever, because he invented <gasps> instant ramen. Instant ramen! Yep. Uh, the he... saving grace for college <laughs> students everywhere. <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he, he came up with this, and uh, it was basically freeze-dried noodles that can be rehydrated, and very inexpensive, mm. and um, allowed people to finally eat ramen whenever they wanted to. Mm. You can throw in your own toppings, uh, a few eggs, maybe some yeah. vegetables, next thing you know, you've spiced it up to your own version of ramen. And that's the thing, is that um, it's not just like the instant ramen we're used to, there's a lot of... Uh, freeze-dried ramen available in Japan of higher quality. Hmm. So you can take this home and make a really good broth by throwing oh. in eggs and bacon and sausage and <laughs> whatever you want into that. Make a really nutritious meal for your family Ooh. with these noodles. Now, with it coming available, mm. uh, did different regions... Uh, and so there are six main regional variations of ramen. Um, uh, there's a, there is a Sapporo style... Uh, from Hokkaido, the northernmost uh, island in Japan. Like the beer, Sapporo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and this is miso topped with sweet corn, oh. um, butter, bean sprouts, finely chopped pork, and garlic. Making me hungry. Uh, I know. <laughs> uh, then there's kitakata style, which is these thick, fat, curly noodles. Oh. Um, and uh, with, with this pork and sardine broth. Mm. Kind of a sour mm. flavor to it. Kind of interesting. Then there's Tokyo style. Very common. These thin, curly noodles um, in a soy-flavored chicken broth. I know. Um, I that's, eat. that's topped with... Uh, we have one here, actually. Mm. And it's topped with uh, scallions, uh, menma, sliced pork, uh, kamaboko, egg, nori, and spinach. Mm. So you'll see that a lot out in Japan. And you actually get these hard-boiled eggs in the, uh, the soup, mm. which is a very, very nice thing. Uh, then there's a Yokohama style, which is kind of mm. a part of Tokyo now. Um, and that's a pork broth topped with roasted pork, Spinach, nori, Welsh onion, and hard-boiled eggs. Uh, wakayama, which is a soy and pork style. And then Hakata style, um, which um, actually is a broth, and the toppings are on the table. And folks can add that. Oh, so if you want a little more of this, a little less of that. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. Build your own. Yeah, that's uh, got pickled ginger and oh, sesame seeds. Oh, I love pickled ginger. Uh, and uh, mustard greens in it, which oh. is a nice little uh, bitter flavor. So, yeah. As I start to drool now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Totally. Now, it gets even more complicated than that because there are four main kinds of broth hmm. in ramen. So there's shio, which is basically a salty broth. Hmm. Very simple, very very light, um, and, and, a, and a nice sort of basic base for, for broth. Then there's tonkotsu, which is a pork broth. Hmm. So you're, um, you're boiling uh, pork bones and pork meat and pork hmm. fat in that. It is a very hearty, kind of creamy hmm. style of broth. Uh, then there's shoyu, which is very popular, uh, which is a soy-based. Uh, shoyu. Soy sauce-based. Yeah, shoyu. Ah, so, like um, soy. Ah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's got usually chicken or vegetable broth. And that has this sort of tangy, savory flavor mm. you'd expect from chicken. Then there's miso broth, which is mm. like miso soup. Miso. Exactly. <laughs> With a miso paste. It has that kind of robust, nutty flavor to mm. it. Very nice. Very. Oh. Yeah. So, and so that's why you have these ramen shops um, that can have a whole menu of different kinds of ramen. Wow. Because it could be this particular broth or this particular style, and they'll have their own uh, variations within that that uh, uh, that restaurant. Yeah, I I, I want to find a, a ramen shop somewhere somewhere around where I am. Yeah, look for it. Um, yeah. They're hard to find, but they're out there. Um, I know that Whole Foods sometimes mm. will have a ramen counter. Oh. Yeah, so check for that. Um, in different specialty places, you can also sometimes find a Japanese restaurant that will serve traditional ramen or will have a ramen counter or some aspect of ramen. Now, I suppose not knowing that there's such a difference between our traditional U.S. ramen and, mm. and, and ramen that has developed in Japanese culture, somebody may see that on the menu and sort of balk, but now, <laughs> now I know, hey, that's something that I should try. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and that's the thing, is that ramen is a dish. Mm. It is a complete um, melding of different ingredients and different flavors. And one of the other neat things is because you've got often meat, vegetables, noodles, mm. you get different flavors as you're eating it. Mm. Because you have a little spring onion with your noodles this, this bite, and you've got a little meat with your onion that bite. Um, so all these different things give you a really complex flavor profile over the course of that meal. And now I'm drooling too. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my! Yeah. So, if you have a great ramen recipe, feel yeah. free to, to 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 come to our site mm -hmm. and uh, let us know what your recipe is, uh, and check out some of our other videos on mm -hmm. Culture Shock, and you can uh, see our videos mm -hmm. uh, on geekarchaeologists.com because we dig deeper. We dig deeper. <laughs> ramen, ramen, ramen. Ooh, oh. Oh. <laughs>